In section three, describe core solutions and management tools on Azure, we'll describe core solutions available in Azure and describe Azure management tools. A level above services are solutions. Solutions are composed of a number of Azure technologies and services. One of the categories of solutions for which Azure has a number of pre-built solutions is the Internet of Things, or IoT. IoT is the ability for devices to gather and then relay information for data analysis. Azure IoT Central is a fully managed global IoT SaaS solution that makes it easy to connect, monitor, and manage your IoT assets at scale. Azure IoT Hub is a managed service hosted in the cloud that acts as a central messaging hub for bi-directional communication between your IoT application and the devices it manages. Azure IoT Sphere is a comprehensive IoT security solution, including hardware, operating system, and cloud components. These are just three of our IoT offerings. The Azure IoT Product Selector can help you to determine which product is best for your situation. Another group for which we have multiple solutions is artificial intelligence and machine learning. Azure Machine Learning Service provides a cloud-based environment used to develop, train, test, deploy, manage, and track machine learning models. Cognitive Services builds intelligent and supported algorithms into apps, websites, and bots to see, hear, speak, understand, and interpret your user needs. Azure Bot Service develops intelligent, enterprise-grade bots that let you maintain control of your data. When it comes to big data and analytics, Azure has numerous solutions. Three major solutions that should be called out. Azure Synapse Analytics provides limitless analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. Azure HD Insight is a fully managed open source analytics service for enterprises. It's a cloud service that makes it easier, faster, and more cost effective to process massive amounts of data. Azure Databricks is a fast, easy, and collaborative Apache Spark-based analytics service. Serverless computing is the evolution of cloud platforms in the direction of pure cloud native code. Serverless brings developers closer to business logic while insulating them from infrastructure concerns. It's a pattern that doesn't imply no server, but rather less server. Serverless code is event-driven. Code may be triggered by anything from a traditional HTTP web request to a timer or the result of an uploading of a file. The infrastructure behind serverless allows for an instant scale to meet elastic demands and offers micro-billing to truly pay for what you use. Serverless requires a new way of thinking, an approach to building applications, and isn't the right solution for every problem. Some serverless technologies include Azure Functions, which is code running your service and not the underlying platform or infrastructure. Azure Functions create infrastructure based on an event. Azure Logic Apps, which is a cloud service that helps you automate and orchestrate tasks, business processes, and workflows when you need to integrate apps, data, system, and services. And Azure Event Grid, which is a fully managed intelligent event routing service that uses a published subscribe model for uniform event consumption. Azure includes a number of DevSecOps solutions as well. Azure DevOps Services provides development collaboration tools, including pipelines, Git repositories, Kanban boards, and an extensive automated and cloud-based load testing. Azure Dev Test Labs allows you to quickly create environments in Azure while minimizing waste and controlling costs. GitHub provides hosting for software development and version control using Git. It offers a distributed version control and source code management SCM functionality of Git, plus its own features. It provides access control and several collaboration features such as bug tracking, feature request, task management, and wikis for every project. GitHub Actions makes it easy to automate all your software workflows, now with world-class CI CD. Build, test, and deploy your code directly within GitHub. Make code reviews, do branch management, and issue triaging work the way that you want. As I mentioned in section two, Azure was built with a single management plane underpinning it all, Azure Resource Manager. However, there are a number of tools available that may be used to manage Azure. First, there's the Azure Portal, which is the web-based interface for Azure. Next is Azure PowerShell, which has a number of PowerShell commandlets that can be executed in your subscription. There's the Azure Mobile App, which is a mobile application that you can use to manage Azure on a device. There's the CLI, or command line interface, which can be used to manage Azure through CLI scripts. All services within Azure are underpinned by Azure REST APIs as well. Finally, Azure Cloud Shell is an application inside of Azure Portal that can be used to issue Azure PowerShell commands within Azure. One of the most powerful capabilities within Azure is Azure Advisor, 
When you load the Azure portal, Azure Advisor comes up and provides you recommendations on how you can optimize your Azure subscription. Azure Advisor provides proactive, actionable, and personalized best practice recommendations. It helps to improve the performance, security, and availability of your resources. It also identifies opportunities to have reduce your Azure costs. The Azure Resource Manager, or ARM, is not just a management plane, but a full management engine for resources in Azure. If you want to create, update, or delete resources in Azure, you can do so with ARM templates. ARM templates are just JavaScript object notation or JSON files. Azure Resource Manager enables you to repeatedly deploy your app and have confidence that your resources are deployed in a consistent state. You define the infrastructure and dependencies for your app in a single declarative template. This template is flexible enough to use for all of your environments, such as test, staging, or production. If you create a solution from the Azure Marketplace, the solution will automatically include a template that you can use for your app. Azure Resource Manager also makes it easy for you to manage and visualize resources in your app. You no longer have to deploy parts of your app separately and then manually stitch them together. You put resources with a common lifecycle into a resource group that can be deployed or deleted with a single action. You can see which resources are linked by dependency. You can apply tags to resources to categorize them for management tasks such as billing. With Azure Resource Manager, you can also control who in your organization can perform actions on resources. You manage permissions by defining roles and adding users or groups to those roles. For critical resources, you can apply an explicit lock that prevents users from deleting or modifying the resource. Azure Resource Manager logs all user actions so you can audit those actions. For each action, the audit log contains information about the user, time, events, and status. Azure Monitor is the umbrella set of technologies used to monitor your cloud deployment. Azure Monitor allows you to collect, analyze, and act on telemetry from cloud and on-premises environments to maximize your application's availability and performance. Azure Monitor starts collecting data as soon as you create an Azure subscription and add resources. Azure Monitor activity logs record all resource creation and modification events. Azure Monitor metrics measure resource performance and consumption. You can also add an Azure Monitor agent to collect operational data for a resource. So let's say you're monitoring your application using Azure Monitor, but something doesn't seem to be working. You know that your applications leverage Azure services. Azure Service Health provides you with a customized dashboard which tracks the health of your Azure services in the regions where you use them. When events become inactive, they get placed in your health history for up to 90 days. Finally, you can use the Service Health dashboard to create and manage Service Health alerts, which proactively notify you when service issues are affecting you. For this exam, it's important to note that in the Azure Service Health dashboard, you can track active events like ongoing service issues, upcoming plan maintenance, or relevant health advisories. That's the end of Section 3, describing core solutions and management tools on Azure. Some key takeaways. Azure provides numerous services, as well as many, many solutions, pre-built so you can leverage that are built from those services, including IoT, big data, analytics, and development tools. Azure Resource Manager is the underlying management plane, and there are several tools that can be used to issue commands to Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager templates, or ARM templates, allow you to deploy and manage resources in a consistent way. Azure Monitor is a suite of tools that allow you to track the performance and the availability of apps and services. Azure Service Health is your personalized dashboard that shows you the health of the services that you're consuming. Next up is Section 4, describing general security and network security features.